Welcome back to this video, my friends. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing why men would like to marry someone like their mum. I know, sounds a little bit weird. Sounds a little bit incestuous. But let me explain. When I first heard this, I was like, I don't get it. Doesn't make any sense. I'm a man. I'm not trying to look for, for a girlfriend and, and she's not going to be like my mum. That's weird. But as I've gotten married, I've had kids, I've become more wise. And what I start to recognize is that we don't want to marry our mum physically or like she doesn't have to look like them. And we're not trying to marry our mum. What we are trying to get is we're trying to see and, and, and find attributes in women that are very similar like our mum. Because when we were growing up, we saw the dynamics between how my mother and father worked. And so growing up in the generation before, I'm 34 right now, so whatever the generation before is, the 60, the 70 year olds, right? They were growing up in a very, I would say, quite a good traditional family unit generation where it was normal for the mother to be nurturing. It was normal for the father to go off and work all day. It was normal for the mum to stay at home. We didn't have childcare centers. We didn't have all of these like facilities where other people were educating and teaching our kids now and mums had to go to work and mums had to be boss bitches and they had all this expectation of like their own, their own self, right? And so back then, it, there was a stronger family nucleus. And as a kid, the qualities and the traits that I saw in my mum to give to my dad were the following. My mum was very loyal to my dad. Like whatever my dad said, whether it was right or wrong, my mum would back him up 100%. And these are traits that I really expect or would like in my own relationship, in my own relationship with Kerry. And quite often, anytime that we have a fight, it's because there's some sort of an expectation that I have on her that she didn't fulfill that I think as a woman, she should fulfill. Now, where the fuck did I get all these expectations from? My only expectation of what a woman should do is literally from my mum. So when I start to think what Kerry should do, I'm literally relaying what I had as a kid and I'm re relaying that information in real time back to Kerry. So for example, if Kerry doesn't cook nice food or she doesn't have me dinner prepared, I'm like, I'm a grown fucking man. I can go out and buy my dinner. I can go and prepare my dinner. But there's something about her not making me dinner. It's like, oh, you didn't make me dinner. You know, you made the kids dinner, but you didn't make me dinner. I feel left out. How could you not make me dinner? That was the, kind of the first thing. It was like food, right? The reasons why that is so important is because I saw my mum make my dad dinner. And it was always like, he never cooked. She always made it. It's like, it's like this nurture thing, right? It's this nurture thing that I want. And so that's the first expectation. The second thing is like this whole loyalty beyond. So like if I'm having an argument with the kids, if I'm having an argument with O, I want Kerry to back me up completely. And the reasons why I want that is because that's something that I saw in my mum's relationship with my dad, like this undeniable loyalty. Like even if he's wrong, even if he killed somebody, she's like, nope, he's my man. I'm going to go to the ends of the world to protect him. And so there's been times where Kerry and I have had arguments because I have felt like she's not been loyal to the end of the world. She's quite diplomatic. She's quite like, no, no, no I, I can see the other person's side. And I'm like, no. I don't want you to see the other person's side. I need you to just see my side and back me up. Like, I don't want to hear like, and she, she, you know, we've had a few clashes because of that. So there's nurturing, there's cooking food, and then there's, there's love and affection. There's like, the woman has to give like love and affection and just be that kind of second supporting role, whereas the man's quite sh more stronger and dominant. And, and so there are these things that I see now, and I start to understand that, oh, of course, I, I, I want to marry someone like my mum because that's that's the person that, that's the woman that I saw as a kid. That's the woman that I saw that depicted the perfect role model as a mum, as I saw her as a kid. And that's what I want for myself because that's what's normal. And so I think as I've aged and, and aged wisely, like fine wine, I can start to recognize a lot of the sayings that we have are sayings for particular reasons. Like there are a lot of rules that I grew up with that I'm really going 360 on right now because I grew up with rules like religion and you know, you should do this and you should behave that way. And I go, well, I don't want to behave that way because you're telling me what I should do and I don't want to do it because you haven't explained the why. And then as a kid, I've kind of gone out against that. I've had the freedom to explore on my own and then I'm, I'm going back in to go, wow, like there's a substance to most of the rules that we've come up with in, in society and what a father should do, what a mother should do, what kids should do, how we should grow up, a lot of the rules. And I can see a lot of the light in the restriction in the rules. And the problem is we haven't adopted the rules as kids because nobody communicated or explained it well enough to us. And so I wanna leave you with this. I don't wanna diverge and move on to another topic, but I'm just thinking, if you're in a current relationship, you're currently married, do you have arguments with your partner because they do not live up to the same standards 
that your mother set. And what I mean by that is the standards that you saw your mum and dad have, and then it's not the she's not saying playing that same role. The second thing is, are you still single? And you're like going, Lynn, this is a little bit weird. If I've I've heard this saying, you want to marry someone like your mum, and, and I don't. But the reality is, you might one day get into a relationship, and when you're in this situation, you need a partner very similar to your mum because that's what's certain and stable for you. Let me know in the comments down below. And once again, if you like this video, please like it, helps the algos out. If you like the content, please, please subscribe to it. Let's me know I'm doing a good job. Hopefully I am. And if I'm not, then I'm not. It is what it is. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.